What's up? We gotta talk about Hubba. Well, the on video is doing this thing about Hubba. Yeah, I remember thinking, that's a giant cement rail. Weird. I got to it and was just in shock. Like, oh my god, this thing's as tall as I am. There's no pussyfooting at Hubba. Getting into the trick was 2% of the deal. It was coming out off that drop and then having that feeling of like sliding up to the block like. It's definitely been like a spot for people, you know, it's definitely world famous. People come from all over the place to take a bite out of it and see what they can do, you know? You know, there's only a few places that you can actually remember what was done and who did it. And I think Hubba was definitely one of the biggest ones. This is the story of San Francisco's legendary ledge, Hubba Hideout. Located near the famed Justin Herman Plaza, or EMB, the ledge was part of a pedestrian walkway, but more commonly used by the local skaters and vagrants for nefarious activities. As street skating evolved in San Francisco, the locals realized Hubba Hideout is more than a place to party at. The first published photo was of Wade Spire and Thrasher in 1989. I have to give props to Wade. It was the first video of Hubba, the cricket grind. Even though he wasn't the first person to do anything on it, but it was the first thing I'd ever seen, and it was on something that I had never seen anybody skate, really, at that time. I think it's the first Plan B video where Rick Howard frontside no slides it, and everything's clean. It's like it's still square, and it's like even like they look like the bricks are clean. It was just perfect, and it was frontside and backside, and you could skate there all day without getting kicked out, usually. Like, we would skate there as long as we wanted until we got really tired or really hurt. As documentation appeared in magazines and videos, skaters from all over the world began showing up, and Hubba became a measuring stick for those willing to step up to the challenge. I have to say from Side Blown Side Carl Shidlin was probably one of the first groundbreaking tricks. Back to when any nose guy is pretty burly. Yeah. Definitely some danger potential there. I never saw it, but I heard Steve Olsen did some crazy shit down there. God damn. I gotta do this shit on an empty stomach. It took skateboarding in the area to eventually attract the attention of the police, despite the years of previous illegal activities that gave Hubba Hideout its name. Hubba Hideout, <laughs> because, I, because it was like kind of hidden. A lot of people would go up there, like, like bombs and stuff, and smoke their crack and stuff. And that's what we call Hubba, what we call crack Hubba's. So. <laughs> Band of Freaks. Now, ID, now. But it was called Hubba. Hideout way before it was even skated. It was called Hubba Hideout for like probably years, you know. Like once in a while, like homeless people would kick you out because they'd be sleeping at the bottom. Like you're not skating today. We're having a barbecue here or something. I mean, there was a period of time where no one was really doing too many gnarly tricks. Like everyone tried to slack off and do a bunch of Smith guns. And then I think it was probably around the time Fred Gaw came through. Did some sick shit on there. And then everyone got sparked again. Kick with no slide was so amazing. Another thing that if you'd never been there that you don't know is the huge drop on the other side. That's what made it even sketchier doing lines from the top too because that first ledge that goes down then goes flat, when you get onto that, if you mess up and fall over the other side, I mean, you're going over like a 40 foot drop and you're probably gonna die. I've seen some crazy nuts manualing down that thing, like over the street and stuff. A 
Another good one is uh, Ryan Johnson using it as a jump ramp up top. Uh, Marcus McBride's heel flip 50-50. That was just cool and different. LeVar had his fair share of just the most ridiculous tricks down it. Yeah, so many damn tricks. Josh Kalis, it's switch tail slide. Switch backside tail slide. SSBST. You don't go to Hubba to do a trick unless you're ready to step up. If you go for it and you're not really ready, it's pretty hard to jump away from it because you, you'd be committed. Like if one leg was up there and one leg was kind of off, you'd, you're going down. The gnarliest thing I ever saw there was just, I don't know, it was this really spontaneous thing of Brian Anderson. Like, we were just at the X Games and we had to meet Brad Stabba. You know, he wasn't even planning on doing anything. And like five or six tries, he does a tail slide big spin. You know, and I shot two tries, just loaded up my camera and, and shot it. He did it on the third try that I shot. That was his day, you know? Probably the gnarliest things have gone down is Danny Garcia's nine foot no side out sick. Front side blunt the fakie is pretty raw, just how high it is. Carl Watson, front side no side, 270 the pretzel way. That was impressive. I remember just hearing about it and just going, I don't know, that was the one trick that no one had ever done, and it looked like one of the hardest ones to do. Like, I thank Eric for just that one last, just brilliance on Hubbies. It was just amazing. I just started by posing it, and it somehow like started to feel good, and then once it felt like I could potentially make it, I was just trying my fastest, I think, to do it and get it over with and just get out of there. It sucks because, you know, a lot of places are getting skate stopped and you can, you know, work around it. But they really did this one in, you know. They drill holes in the top, holes in the bottom, and then the piece goes in, in there, and then they fill it up. So you'd have to either cut it off and then slice the uh, bolt off, but I don't think it would work. I think it's totally lame that they nubbed it though because it's seriously nobody goes there. Occasionally, like a business person will walk through, you know what I mean? Hubba Hideout, to my generation, it was our upland. It was our pipeline. It just was, man. I mean, corner or not, for the people who went there and did their shit, you know that feeling, what it's like to ride away from there. It's kind of a bummer that you can't sit there and think of a trick and go, Let's, I want to do it on Hubba, and then go there. It's, you can't. Despite being shut down for good, Hubba's influence will be felt for many years in contest courses, video games, and other spots sought out for the similarities to the legendary ledge.
Wasn't uh, Hubba Hideout? Hubba Hideout was named that because me and people I won't mention because there's no reason to drag them through the dirt. We would go up there and we would smoke Hubba Rocks, man. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Lots of people that everybody knows. So many you would never even think. So did you come up with the term Hubba then? No. Someone tried to give me credit for that one time, like I made up that word, but nah. I used to hear the little ghetto kids saying it. It's just a slang term for, for, for crack from the ghetto kids. But as, but as a term like that's used in skateboarding. Oh yeah, for sure come up with it. I called it Hubba Hideout. Let's go to the Hubba Hideout. Let's go to the Hubba. Let's go to Hubba. Before people were even skating. But it was there. called Hubba, just the spot. It wasn't even that rail down those stairs. It was actually, if you went up the stairs, there's a little plaza you can sit on benches. That was Hubba Hideout. And then they could see, we started noticing that they could see us from the building window. So we started moving down, we would hide on the stairs and the hubba would hide our faces. No one could tell we were sitting there from the sides. But back in the day, before it would actually turn into a skate spot, people would just be like, yo, let's go to hubba. That's where we go drink, smoke weed, do drugs, whatever. No one could see you. And then one day we were leaving after smoking weed and drinking and Mike Carroll just flat out ollied the first set of stairs and then rail slid the hubba. We all just fell out. No one even, no one looked at that like, you, no one was gonna say like, we jumped the stairs and thought that was sick. Straight up. Jumping those stairs was big back in the day. That was a big set of stairs, man. Hubba hideout. Yeah, everywhere is a hubba now. Every spot's a hubba. It trips me out. It's like, what? It's not a hubba. 